Hello YouTube, it's your girl Jeanne coming at you with another video and as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be about the 10 fragrances that make me feel the sexiest. So if you guys are interested in seeing what fragrances make me feel sexy and seductive, kind of like how I'm looking like, I feel like I'm playing the part right now, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Alright y'all, so first things first, stop what you're doing, stop, and leave me your sin of the day down below. I would love to know what you guys are wearing today or tonight whenever you're watching this video. Also, if you are new to my channel, hello again, my name is Jeanne, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for clicking back onto another video. I truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. So, I have 11 fragrances here, one is an honorable mention, but I do have 10 on the list. And I had to include this honorable mention because it is absolutely beautiful but at the same time it makes me feel like a boss and my honorable mention for today is the beautiful the stunning Mula Mula Rouge Extreme from the house of Byron Parfums you guys first of all they updated their packaging again I love that they're always evolving I have the original Mula Mula which is like the original packaging I want to buy a new bottle just because that one the color has turned but the fragrance is beautiful this scent oh my gosh like I love this scent like it's so nice now i will say this is not blind buy safe like if you are the type of person that likes just the sweet you know safe fragrances this isn't it this is a sweet fragrance but this has oud in it and the oud is very prominent in this fragrance like very prominent but it's so stunning to my nose this is just a very sweet fruity vanilla oud with a little caramelish vibe it's so beautiful it's like gourmand with oud and the oud in my opinion is very very strong it's very intense but if you spray this delicately and in the right places this will make you feel like a million bucks this smells expensive this smells intoxicating this smells exotic i feel like i'm the most beautiful woman in the room like you know if you see someone and they smell unique but it doesn't stink they smell good but you are not familiar with that okay this fragrance just makes me feel like a unique exotic woman like very eclectic but smooth but sexy but sensual you know what i'm saying a little bit dark and mysterious like what this is a unisex fragrance so for my gents out there who don't mind you know a little bit of sweetness i feel like the oud and patchouli in here would kind of jump out on a man's skin a little bit more but on my skin i get a lot of that vanilla i get a lot of that caramel i get those fruits in the opening the strawberry and that cherry i use this sparingly a little bit goes a long way i am a heavy sprayer i am an over sprayer but with this fragrance, I cannot spray more than two sprays. And that says a lot. And it just smells incredible. The lasting power is insane. I don't ever feel like I'm ever going to run out of this, ever. And I've used this plenty of times and it looks like I have not touched it. But this makes me feel so sexy and seductive and sensual and delicious. But also a little bit edgy and mysterious at the same time so this is my honorable mention because this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea but this definitely makes me feel sexy and i had to mention this on the list this is a beautiful fragrance and i cannot wait to explore this house a little bit more this is mula mula rouge extreme from the house of byron parfums this next fragrance is no stranger to my channel i speak about it all the time and it really makes me feel sexy and seductive and beautiful and this is truly one that I have in the rotation for like date night or feeling sexy or sensual or whatever. And this is Bone Bone by Victor and Roth. This is just your beautiful, sweet caramel orange blossom fragrance with some citrus and a little bit of fruitiness. That's what you get. This has notes of peach and orange. This also has orange blossom with some jasmine and some caramel in that mid. And then in the base, you get some cedar, some guyac wood, and you also get some sandalwood. I love this fragrance because it's a very much so an easy grab. It smells incredible. The performance is amazing. And this just makes me feel so 
beautiful and just seductive and sexy i really like this fragrance a lot and i do speak about this fragrance a lot on my channel to the point where i kind of had to like stop wearing her i love to wear this fragrance year round she's a beautiful caramel fragrance but to my nose sometimes caramel and vanilla can smell very similar in fragrances she's definitely a beauty i really enjoy wearing her a lot so if you are in the market for a nice gourmand floral sexy date night scent definitely check out Bon Bon by Victor and Roth. The next fragrance on my list is the beautiful 100 Silent Ways by Nishane. And this baby right here, she's a beautiful, beautiful vanillic white floral and it's powdery and it's a little bit fruity and it has vetiver so it has kind of like this woody, earthy type of scent in the base. This is just beautiful. So this has tuberose and peach in the opening. The tuberose to me is a very buttery tuberose. It's definitely a well-bloomed tuberose. In the mid, you get some jasmine and some orris with some gardenia. I think that orris gives this fragrance that powderiness. And then in the base, you get that vetiver with some vanilla and some sandalwood. And I think that sandalwood kind of gives it a creaminess as well. Along with that tuberose, they kind of balance each other out. And the vanilla just keeps that nice sweetness going through the fragrance which is beautiful this also kind of reminds people of black opium so if you want a different take on black opium if you don't want to smell like everyone else definitely check this out i believe that it does have some qualities of black opium but it is a little bit more refined it's not as coffee heavy this is a little bit more creamier and smoother and has a little bit more of a butteriness from the tuberose which i really enjoy but i love black opium as well so i might be biased i do think having both is nice but some people believe in having a curated collection so that's just an option for you guys. But this baby is beautiful. I love the itemizer on here. I love the way that this fragrance lasts on my skin, how it performs. And this makes me feel so sexy and sensual and just seductive. And this definitely is a compliment getter. Same thing with Bon Bon. Bon Bon is a compliment getter. A lot of these fragrances will get you compliments as well. And majority of these fragrances are suited for more cooler weather or nighttime because that's when I feel the most sexy so that's the reoccurring theme within this list it's more like date night fragrances or sexy fragrances for your boo thing or for yourself you know I wear a lot of these fragrances to bed as well because I want to feel sexy going to bed just for myself so this is 100 silent ways it's beautiful it's seductive it's sensual it's sexy it's a little bit heavy it's a little bit dark it makes you just go mm. <laughs> So yeah, this beautiful scent is amazing. The next fragrance we have on the list is one that's kind of hard to find and I hate to do it to you guys, but I have to talk to you guys about this scent because it truly makes me feel sexy. This is Armani Code Satin by Giorgio Armani. And this scent is just a nice sweet, spicy, floral, vanilla scent. Oh, I love this scent so much. What really draws me in is that ginger in the opening. like. It really does something to me. That spice is just nice. And then you get some orange blossom in the mid with some neroli and jasmine. And I think that combination of those florals really set this fragrance up for success. I'm always here for orange blossom. Sometimes jasmine can be a little bit iffy and neroli with orange blossom just works so well because they kind of give this like citrusy floral aspect to the fragrance. It kind of adds sweetness as well. Girl, oh, it's so nice. Like it's so nice, but the magic happens in the dry down for me. Yes, the spice in the opening gets me in there. Love the florals in the mid, but that vanilla with that cacao and that praline and patchouli, like, girl, it smells amazing. I have to use this, like, very sparingly because I cannot find a bottle that's not ridiculously priced because this is sadly discontinued. Why do these companies do that to us? Like, I don't understand. But yes, this scent makes me feel sexy. It makes me feel seductive. It has that sweetness. It has that earthiness from the patchouli. But it also has the floral aspect from those florals. You get some spice from that ginger. It's just like everything that I want is here. It's here. It's, it's 
it's nice now i will say projection on here is a little bit subpar but the fragrance makes up for it the fragrance makes up for it so love this scent it's so beautiful it's so sexy so seductive and sensual and just alluring i'm here for it and this is armani code satin by giorgio armani <laughs> Since we're on the topic of spicy fragrances, I really like this fragrance. And this is a fairly new acquisition in my collection and I never thought that I would be into Tom Ford like I have been. But I'm jumping on the train now, y'all. I'm jumping on the train. And this is Tobacco the Knee. Oh my gosh, like what? As the name says, this has tobacco and it has vanilla, of course. But this also has a little bit of fruitiness. It has a little bit of woodiness and this has some spice to it, of course. When I smell this scent, especially in the opening, I get like a burst of like cloves with cinnamon. I get that spice spice that warm spiciness and then throughout the life of the fragrance i really get like this beautiful dark smoky tobacco it's very beautiful it's not like a pipe tobacco it's kind of on the dry side but i really like it in the mid you get some tonka bean with some vanilla and some cacao and in the base you get some woodsy notes with some dry fruits i love the dry down of this fragrance i do get a little bit of a chocolatey vibe but i'll also get that powderiness from the tonka beans that warmth from the vanilla and the sweetness it's just an all-around beautiful scent. I do find that this scent can lean a little bit more on the smoky side, which kind of can seem a little bit more masculine, but I feel like a woman who can pull off a unisex fragrance or a more masculine fragrance is so sexy, it's so strong, it's so seductive, especially if she sprays in the right areas and she sprays the right amount. It can be a beautiful, but sexy, but mysterious, and seductive, but strong aura around that woman. And I feel like that's what this gives me. It just gives me strength, but it gives me seduction, but it gives me sweetness. Like it just gives me all of these things that are just enticing you know what i'm saying and i feel like if you have on the right outfit for this if you have the right look for this if you have the right confidence for this and you're a female you will rock this scent like no other and if your boo your partner your husband your wife your significant other likes fragrances like this y'all can share this is not a cheap fragrance but if you guys share it then like you guys can just go have <laughs> But I really love this scent. It makes me feel so sexy and sensual and confident. And I definitely say that if you like fragrances that I like, if you're into unisex fragrances and you haven't tried this out and you like spicy scents, definitely check this baby out because this is a beautiful, beautiful scent for any gender, for whatever you identify as. This is stunning, stunning. So this is Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. This next fragrance I'm definitely going to speed through because I've spoken about it so many times and this actually is my second bottle of this scent and this is Born Aroma by Valentino. Like I said, I'm not going to go too deep because I love this scent. Like if you watch my channel, like you know I love this scent. This is one of my sexiest, my most confident, my most arrogant but approachable scent. Like I love this. This is a woody, fruity, floral. Like that's literally what it is. It has this smooth element because it has cashmere in the base and it has some guyac wood. And in the top you get some black currant with some pink pepper which kind of adds some spice to that fruitiness, that juicy fruity black currant it's so beautiful and then in the mid you get some jasmine with some tea and it's just amazing like i really love this scent so much oh it's it's incredible and a lot of people like this scent too it's just everything it's everything and i had to get the 100 mil i had the 50 mil and i blew through that now that i have the 100 mil i'm just going to just wear this baby whenever i want because i was acting kind of stingy with my last bottle but this is a very beautiful scent. It is very sexy and seductive because that dry down, that guyac wood with that cashmere and that bourbon vanilla just does it. This fragrance is a little bit sweet from the black currant and a little bit from the bourbon vanilla, but the bourbon vanilla kind of gives this fragrance a little bit of a booziness. It's not overly sweet. It's just sexy. Like this screams sexiness to me and then when you layer this with other fragrances it just elevates it like it elevates it it makes it your own so love this scent so much i feel so sexy and so beautiful when i wear this scent i get tons of compliments 
and this is definitely a staple in my collection so if you're looking for a sexy sensual seductive fragrance that's not too sweet check out born aroma by valentino all right y'all so this next fragrance some of you guys will hate me some of you guys will agree but I have to speak about my baby. I have to speak about my baby because I feel so sexy when I wear it. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. How can I not speak about fragrances that make me feel sexy and not talk about this beauty? Like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> This fragrance is just a nice woody, ambery, spicy, but kind of fresh scent. Like, it's very hard to explain. It's it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's woody, but it's not overly woody. It's very delicate, in my opinion. It's very long-lasting. It projects like crazy, and it lasts on your skin and your clothes forever. It really lasts on your clothes forever, but it lasts on my skin for over 12 hours. I really love the performance of this scent. I mean, and for the price, it better perform, like, amazingly. But this scent makes me feel so sexy. And not in the sense of being, like, dark and heavy, but in the sense of just being warm and a little sweet, but a little woody. It's very unisex, in my opinion. It's just very fluid, and it doesn't really get too feminine, but it doesn't get too masculine either, which I really like. And I feel like when you're dressed... And you're stepping out and you pull this out what this can work for the daytime it can work for the nighttime it just smells expensive it smells unique especially if you're in a place where people don't wear this fragrance which I am I just feel like I'm that chick like I'm that chick when I wear it you know and you don't have to have the most expensive clothes or the most expensive car but if you do that that adds to the look but this fragrance will elevate whatever look that you're wearing this just makes me feel more elevated in whatever element that I'm in whether I'm wearing this for brunch or wearing this to dinner or wearing this just on a casual day out or if I really want to step it up and look sexy and seductive this just works perfectly it's just amazing and I love it I love it so much so this is Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjohn and I feel so sexy and seductive and sensual when I wear this scent all right y'all so this next fragrance is probably one of the sweetest fragrances on this list and i think that she's a banger like for sure and this is scandal by night by john paul gaultier and i like the original scandal but i think that this one just speaks to me a little bit more this is just a sweet honeyed tuberose with some cherry in there a little bit of woodiness a little bit of just deliciousness that's what this is now i really do love the honey in the opening but sometimes it can get a little bit much depending on who you are so if you have a very sensitive nose or you get headaches from fragrances this might be a bit cloying but just wait for it to dry down if you can because that is where the beauty lies okay in the mid you get that cherry with that buttery delicious tuberose and then you also get a little bit of orange blossom in there as well which kind of adds a little bit of like a sweet kind of citrusy element as well because there is a little bit of citrus in this fragrance as well and then in the base you get some tonka beans with the sandalwood and the patchouli and some vanilla with some white musk it's just amazing the performance on this is beautiful i just love the way that this fragrance smells and if you enjoy tuberous imperial from bdk that's the same tuberose that's in here it's that buttery creamy very well bloomed tuberose it's delicious and this fragrance is delicious so if you're boo or if you love to smell just edible and delicious definitely check this out because i feel very sexy when i wear those types of fragrances and this scent of course is called scandal by night like they wanted you to feel like you were a sex bomb with this okay i just feel so sexy when i wear this scent i know i keep saying the same adjectives but that's just what these fragrances do to me so scandal by night by john paul gaultier now we're at the last three this next beautiful fragrance is one that i mentioned in my best vanilla fragrance video and i'll leave that up in the eye in the sky and this is lyra by zerjoff the Cosmorati line this is a beautiful vanilla fragrance but it has citrus in there it has some caramel this is just sweet and just sensual and sexy it's just oh it's just everything it's a gourmand lover's dream if you love gourmands and you have not tried lyra 
please try Lyra because you will not be disappointed at all. She smells amazing. What I get the most out of this fragrance is of course the vanilla with that caramel and the musk which are basically the base notes but this also has a note of blood orange in the top and then in the mid you get some licorice and some cinnamon which I don't get a lot of. I do get a little bit of a spice but really I just get that blood orange. I get that blast of citrus and then when it starts drying down that vanilla with that caramel just starts coming through and that's mainly what I get and it's just amazing i feel so sexy when i wear this scent if you love vanilla fragrances you would love this scent like this is truly a vanilla caramel scent and it kind of smells like a vanilla cake it's beautiful like i love when i wear this scent and since this has that citrus element i do feel a bit more comfortable with wearing this in the spring and summertime i just don't spray as heavy but in the fall and winter honey i'm like like all in there okay one thing i don't like about this bottle though is that the tassel comes off i have the older model so it's not as secured but it still smells good okay this fragrance makes me feel so sexy it's so beautiful it's a little bit bright in the opening but then when it dries down you get that gourmand touch and this is lira by zerja from the casa marati line okay so this next fragrance is literally one of my favorite fragrances of all time and it's one of my most used and it's black opium like i had to mention her in this list because i truly do love her a lot of people don't but I do and this is just your beautiful orange blossom sweet vanilla woody fragrance like that's what this scent is you have some orange blossom in here you have some coffee you have a little bit of almond which kind of gives it a nuttiness but I get mainly the coffee in the mid and then in the dry down you get that patchouli with that vanilla and that cashmere and wood and I just love this fragrance like I really do it last forever on the skin this has so many amazing memories tied to it from me and I just will always have this in my collection and this always will make me feel sexy especially when I'm going out whether I'm going to a bar or a lounge or I'm going to dinner that's just how I feel so this is Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent and last but certainly not least we have one of my favorite fragrances of all time as well and this is Parfums de Marley Delina Exclusive and this makes me feel so sexy this is a beautiful rose, woody, sweet, vanilla, creamy fragrance. It's just amazing. You have some lychee and some pear on the top. And then in the mid, you have that beautiful Turkish rose with some incense. And it claims to have oud in it but I don't get oud at all. It might be adding to the depth of the fragrance, which that's what I feel like it's doing. Maybe adding a slight smokiness. And then in the base, you have some amber and some vanilla with some woody notes. I love this scent like truly and honestly love this scent i have a backup bottle some people say that this fragrance is powdery on them i say that this fragrance is just very creamy it depends on your body chemistry though because i do know people who feel like this fragrance is too powdery for them but for me it's just creamy and delicious and amazing and the performance is out of this world like definitely a beast mode scent definitely beastly but it's so feminine but at the same time it's edgy but at the same time it's seductive and sexy and nighttime and just lovely like i just love it so much and i think that a lot of people like this scent because of that depth that it adds and that extra umph of vanilla compared to the original delina and this doesn't have the rhubarb in it which makes this not sour you just get that sweet lychee and then it fades into that turkish rose and then gets into that vanilla and that cashmere and it just makes me feel so beautiful so i love this fragrance it's definitely one of my most seductive fragrances in my collection and yeah she's definitely a lifer so this is delina exclusive from the house of parfums de marley all right y'all so i hope you all enjoyed today's list i love love these fragrances so if you don't know i do quiz you all at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me until the end or whatnot and today i want you guys to leave me the kiss emoji because feeling sexy got the red lip going you know feeling seductive or whatnot and also let me know what are some fragrances that you guys love that make you guys feel sexy and confident and seductive i would love to know i had so much fun making this video for you guys i love you guys so so much and i will see you all in the next one oh, baby,